In the NFL, cover two is generally used for short to medium distances, as well as fantastic red zone. But in Madden, we can make it nearly unbeatable. Now with our coaching adjustments, we have auto alignment set to base, ball and air defense set to play receiver, option defense set to conservative, and then zone coverage set to match. Now we're gonna go ahead and sub out and sub in every single player across the field in order to get our formation set up correctly for the safeties package. Once we have our personnel correct, it's time to get into the defense. Now this is a popular outcome issue you can see every bunch player use. Corner streak combo to beat the zone drops and beat everything in the game. Now this is the defense we're going to be running. We're going to have an outside quarter from the outside corner on the right side of the field, bunch side. That outside quarter is going to go ahead and match the corner out regardless of the streak route beautifully. Now we are also going to go ahead and man up the slot corner to the outside receiver that's going to be running a streak route. So we don't have to worry about any kind of seam streaks. The linebacker is also going to take away the flats from the tight end, leaving us responsible for the middle of the field. Now as we snap the ball, you're going to see how this defense works out. Us as user, we work back in the middle of the field, outside quarter brackets off the corner out, and there's nothing open. This leads us to our next play, clear out FLN. Now this is the route combination you're going to see most Washington bunch users use when they're going into clear out FLN. If you can stop this, you can win games. This is the defense we're going to be using to stop this particular route combination. Taking the right of screen middle linebacker manning him up to the number two receiver and our right of screen slot corner manning him up to the outside receiver to bracket off the corner out, leaving us responsible for the tight end on this little post route. Now as we were talking about, we're going to take the tight end vertically, the corner out from the B receiver is going to be bracketed off, and then they can't throw that little fader out either perfect defense. Now that we've talked about defending the sidelines, we need to work our way to the middle of the field in defending mesh post. And right after mesh post, I'm going to be talking about how you can use DB Fire 2 to scream against a blocked running back. And when it comes to defending mesh posts, it's pretty easy. They're blocking the running back, so all we have to do is take away the two drag routes, and the soft squad's going to go ahead and take away the flat route from the tight end as well. The last thing we have to worry about in mesh post is going to be the post route from the outside receiver. Now right here, you see how easy it is for us to scream, take away the post route and drag route? Now let's go ahead and talk about how you get this blitz to scream. Now blitzes are really weird with how they work in practice mode, but for now, here's the setup to get it to work even when they go ahead and block the running back. Baseline press, and if you have baseline set already as an auto alignment, it should be a lot easier. Crash D-line inside, take your user, blitz your user, and you're gonna stand right over the tackle. You wanna make sure that blitz angle is headed towards the A-gap on the running back side. This is why it's important to crash in or out. I like to crash inside. Blocking our running back, we're gonna go ahead and just run straight straight at the center and you can see right there getting pressure off the nickel corner now we have to send five every single time in order for this blitz to work if you don't you're never gonna get pressure now with that we got the backbone and the defense all set up let's hop into some gameplay and break down some adjustments i was doing to stop my opponent now i just had a gut feeling he picked this formation really quick that he was just gonna go ahead and pass the ball so i'm setting up for a pass my writer screwed me to linebacker if you've been following the scheme so far he's gonna be dropped into an inside third my two high safeties are going to be rotated into an outside third and you're going to see pick artists actually light up right here this is not deep end zone kill this is why you need to be running a pick artist now pin to my defensive line just in case it happens to be run again middle third with the inside linebacker you can see right there bam pick artist that's why you need it now when you're facing somebody that seems to be calling random formations the big thing to not lose games is to keep it as simple as possible now this may seem like stupid advice but trust me keeping it more simple is far more important than trying to get cute and overly adjust you on your defense and this is the drive we're going to take that advice to heart Keeping it as simple as possible is often going to be the things that are going to get you more turnovers than not. Now, you're going to see everybody coming on DB Fire 2 a ton. Eventually, this guy is going to come on the RPO read flat wheel. I don't believe it's right here. I believe it's a little bit later on. But again, by keeping it as simple as possible, you can see we almost get a huge mistake right here. And the reason I'm trying to get super overly complex with this defense is because when I see tight formations like that, I automatically say bench or bench switch. Now, that time we had, had a wheel switch, and luckily we had an inside third right there really just getting super risky with it and again just keeping it as simple as possible maybe coming on this cover three double cloud and then maybe taking one of your slot corners and manning them up maybe dropping the other one into mid read and just making small things like that is going to make or break your defense every single time now this is the first time he's come out on this rp or read flat wheel i'm like oh great here we go we're gonna have to start adjusting for that and again we don't want to get super cute with it now he will eventually start taking the left of screen tight end and motioning him over and when he does that i believe it's the a tight end that he sends on his streak with his running back on a wheel route 
Now, in this situation, I'm just looking for any corner out. You can see right there, there's that little high-low read on the sideline. Again, a street corner combo. We've always seen this multiple times. Should be nothing new. But again, we try to keep it as simple as possible. If he wants to come in this RPO flat read wheel, then we're going to go ahead and make some simple adjustments on the back. And again, we're sticking to our cover three as much as possible. If I see that motion like that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to prepare myself a manning up A to A and take away that streak out. You can see right there as we were talking about that streak route, I'm going to go ahead and take it away. And then we actually have a backed off clop flat. If you're not using these backed off clop flats, they're so much better in taking away short side corner outs than if you were to leave them pressed. So I back that clop flat off, take away the short, the deep stuff. And in turn, I'm going to give up the short stuff. But again, it's important to stick to your plan. Don't change it just because they're having a good drive because eventually they're gonna go ahead and make a mistake. Right here, we man up the guy to the running back on the wheel route, so we're gonna go ahead and take the little high-low read. Bam, you can see perfect defense. Corner out not open, running back on the wheel route not open, and we take away the tight end streak route ourselves. This is why it's important to keep things super, super simple. Now we're getting him on a third and long down distance, screaming off the edge. He wants to go ahead and take that little check down. He can do that. Now it's fourth down. This time, he's going to be coming on an empty set. When somebody comes on empty set, I used to be able to scream out of it. It's, it's A good empty player is very tough to go ahead and stop. A bad empty player is usually pretty easy. They take away the seams, and I'm going to go ahead and just watch the tight end myself right here. So right there, you can see perfect defense. Right there, deep out zone kill, pick artist, bam. Easy bag. Keep it simple. Extremely important. Now, you're going to want to kill me when I say this, but again, keep it as simple as possible as the bread and money go to maker. Now, this is the first Stevie Wonder Read he's made. Throwing into double coverage. Guess what? We will be better at the user. We will try to undercut that next time he comes on this little spread set. Um, again, we just got to be ready for it. He's going to go back into the single back wing attack. Again, I am not really too worried about the run in this situation. He motions the guy over. I still think he might send his side on a streak. I'm going to go ahead and prepare for pass. I'm going to back off the club on that side of the field. I need to go ahead and press my slot corners again now as a misclick. And he's right there. Again, he sends five out. We're going to be a little bit better. All I'm worried about more so is that little streak deep corner combo is to potentially go ahead and beat my cover three on that side of the field. That's the thing I'm worried about. I see the little drag wheel, so we go ahead and carry the drag wheel ourselves. Again, going to this little two by two spread set, we're going to go ahead and just keep it simple. Cover three again and again and again. He wants to go ahead and send five out. We are just, oh. you can see the user is right there, but we're just a overcompensating for the corner out just a little bit too much. So, I am confident we're going to go ahead and get a pick on this guy again. You've just got to keep your defense simple. If you see somebody is struggling, this is a struggle right here. You just keep running the same defense again and again and again because we're going to throw Stevie at some point. This time, Klopp on the left side, take away the corner out. We're going to go and take a little out, out away. You can see right there, that is why you get pick artist. Now, hopefully, the theory of keeping it simple, stupid has been implanted into your mind. The power of the cover three double cloud is something to not be messed with. And when making small adjustments to it, it could be one of the most lockdown defenses in the game. The number one thing is trust your abilities, understand what they do and what they don't do. If you want to learn more about that, be sure to become a Patreon member today and then understand where you need to have them at the field at what times. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure you hit that subscribe button. As always, I'm going to be trying to post at least one video every single week. We will catch you guys in the next one.